Hey, Dr. Chad here, and I've got a question for you. Do you know what this loofah and your bones have in common? Well, if you're approaching 60, there's a strong chance that this loofah is an accurate depiction of what your bones could look like in the not so far away future. You see, as we age, we lose bone mass and density, especially women after menopause. Now, if you have a minute or two, I just posted a free health report that includes the top five bone dissolving foods that must be avoided to keep your bones healthy as you age. Just click the link in the description below this video to review that list now. Now, with each passing year, our bones lose calcium, collagen, and other minerals required to provide strength and density to our skeletal system which leaves our bones looking a lot like this loofah here. Without these vital organic components, our bones become porous, brittle, and hollow, much like a loofah. In fact, the primary reason why fractures, falls, and accidents are more prevalent among these populations isn't so much related to old age. It's due to an imbalance within the chemistry of our bones. Namely, we aren't getting enough of the nutritional building blocks that give our bones their strength and structure. Not only this, but certain dietary habits can exacerbate the loss of bone mass, leading to weaker, more brittle bones, putting individuals over 60 to an even higher risk of falls and fractures. So if you have a few minutes, I encourage you to head over to my site where I just posted a free health report that provides a list of the most bad to the bone foods to avoid for maintaining bone health. This report also includes which key nutrients seniors should consume more of to rebuild bones and protect against fractures. Just click the link in the description below this video to head over there now. Making these simple dietary changes can have a dramatic impact on not just the health of your bones, but your entire quality of life for years to come. The bottom line is that we need to be able to make more informed decisions about our bone health. To do that, we need to understand that the true cause of bone loss isn't strictly age related. It has everything to do with nutrients we do or don't feed our bodies. So just click the link below the description of this video and head over to my site to learn more about the five bone dissolving foods you need to avoid, plus which nutrients to add into your diet to rebuild your bones. And I'll see you there.